So welcome to Open Farm Sunday. And uh, today I've come to a farm in Cambridgeshire. My name's David and I work for a company called John Deere that makes combine harvesters like this one. And I've come to meet a farmer called Tom. Hi David, welcome. Thanks, you brought a bit of sunshine with you to the harvest field today. <laughs> Tom, um, we've come to visit your farm and um, just explain all the different sort of crops that you grow on your farm. This is a, a family farm. We have a few sheep and we're mainly combinable crops. So the crops that we grow are wheat, and that goes to make bread and some of it for animal feed. We grow barley, which goes to make beer like the field behind you. We have rapeseed and that goes for biofuels uh, and also goes to make cooking oils and we also grow some linseed. I remember when I was a really young person, I always was curious how you grow all those different crops and then how we actually get them, if you like, out of your field. How do we do that? Well, all those crops, David, are, are combinable crops and that really means that we can use the combine harvester to harvest them. And we just change the settings on the machine to make sure that we can still harvest those different crops from different fields uh, and get them to the store. In an essence, obviously, you've got the crop coming in the front and straw coming out the back and grain stored in the tank at the top, but it's a bit more complicated than that, so we should probably just walk through step by step. Well, this is the business end. The combine drives this way and it drives through the crops. And while that's happening, Two things are happening at the front here. One is there are some very sharp blades down at the bottom there and they're moving ever so quickly and cutting the crops as we go through them. And in order to help them to go into the combine, we then have this little thing here. This is called a reel and it turns round and it just helps to bring the crops back into the front of the combine and they're all pushed along and up into the mouth of the combine there. So this is, this is where action really happens. What happens after that? It's what happens in the heart of the combine that makes it into such an expensive and important machine. So let's go around the side of the machine and see if we can't explain what happens in the centre of a combine harvester. As the material comes into the centre of the combine, the first thing that it sees is a, a big diameter drum, as we call it, or a big rotor with paddles on it. And what that's doing is, is squeezing the crop between that and another plate that we call the concave, which have a series of holes in it. And as it rubs the crop, it separates the grain from the straw. So this is the unthreshed grain. These are the ears of, in this case, barley that come in the front. And what happens is the paddle goes round up to a thousand times a minute, and it's just crushing the grain. And then the grain, which has then been threshed, passes through some sieves. Uh, and the sieves let the grain and the smaller bits of, of straw, so we call that chaff, go out the bottom, whilst the bigger bits of straw go to the back of the machine. So that's great. So once we've got some kind of separation between the grain and the straw, then we kind of, we can't just sell that as it is. We need to kind of what we call clean that up. So the next stage in the combine is a series of sieves and underneath our sieves is a big fan that blows air through those sieves. And we kind of blow away a lot of the chaff, as we call it, and the small parts of straw, and we end up with a much neater sample of grain. Now that is the kind of, of sample, that's the kind of product that we can send on to, uh, to a mill if it was wheat uh, or to the brewer. And this, we've then got to get this back into our shed. Uh, and so there's an elevator on the other side, that's just a, it's like a big escalator for grain, and it will put it into the tank at the top there. Now at the top of the machine, there's an enormous tank and that collects all that grain until it's completely full, and then the operator in the cab will get a little warning on their screen to say that it's full, and they'll call the trailer driver to come alongside and they'll press a little button and the auger will get the grain from the tank into the back of the trailer, ready to be taken back to the store. The straw is also valuable as well. And I'll just show you at the back of the machine what we do with that. So we've got a couple of options with our straw. We can either let it drop out the back of the machine, uh, and you might have seen that in rows before, and we'll have another machine called a baler which really collects up all that straw. And that straw can go for animal bedding or it can sometimes go to the power station as well to create energy. But we have a chopper on the back of this combine and we can choose to use that chopper or not. The reason we like to chop the straw if we can is because it's a good way to start the straw breaking down and going back into the soil. It helps our, our soil to be healthier. I've described the combine as the queen bee of the harvest field and she really is a hive of technology. So let's have a look at some of that now. So everything's driven from up here in the cab where I'm in an air-conditioned and soundproof box covered in windows so I can see everything that's going on in front of me and I can even look into the tank to see the grain coming in. But there are sensors all over the machine that tell me lots of other bits of information as well, including how wet or dry the grain is and how much crop we've got coming into the tank uh, and that presents that as a map so I can see which parts of the field have got greater yield and which bits have got less yield. 
So all the information that the driver can see here on the combine is not just available to the driver, but is available to other people as well, because using uh, effectively like a mobile phone chip, that information can be sent to a desktop, it can be sent to a smartphone or an iPad, and other people can view that information and help that driver to make better decisions in the future. So Tom's done a great job of explaining how our combine harvester works, but very importantly, how we use technology. It's a great opportunity for young people who are looking for future careers to come into agriculture because technology is going to be more and more important to help manage our machines and help farmers manage their farming systems. So thank you for listening to us on Open Farm Sunday. Myself and Tom explain how this amazing John Deere combine harvester and all its wonderful technology gets the crop from the field onto your plate.